Africa channel. We're going to talk about Shakiro potential translocation inside the national channel boundary. Okay, thank you. So, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers, in particular Julio and Alessandro, uh, for inviting me. Uh, for me, uh, Trieste is a very special city since I was a postdoc at ICTP over not 13, but 30 years ago. So I'm very happy to be here again. So today, I'd, I, I'm going to feature uh, non, uh, some non-stationary difference equation recently proposed by Shamil Shakiro. And my purpose is convince you that it is very interesting equation related to many topics in mathematical physics. So, because the related topics is very wide, my collaborator is very large, uh, maybe six collaborators. And original paper by Shamil is appeared maybe a year and a half ago. And then this appear, uh, this, since this paper appeared, we are very excited with his equation. So let me first introduce his uh, Shakirov's uh, non-stationary difference equation. He uh, he proposed as uh, some something like uh, generalization of BPZ equation for conformal block, and he, he comes, uh, as I in, as I showed in my title, I'm going to five-dimensional and then, uh, gauge theory so that according to AGT, it corresponds to uh, Q deform, uh, conformal block of Q pilastral algebra. So he proposed some uh, BPZ like equation for conformal block of Q pilastral algebra. So let me start with a five dimensional to quiver gauge theory with a gauge group U2 cross U2 and with four, two of them are, are fundamental and remaining and fundamental uh, matter hypermanagement. I think this is a standard framework. So the quiver is written like this. And our space time is C2 cross S1, since our, we are considering five dimensional gauge theory. And as usual, we introduce omega background of Neplasso on C2, this four, four dimensional part, which are equiv uh, mathematically equivalent parameters for the toric action. So Z and W is a coordinate, complex coordinate of C2 path, and we consider toric action on Z and W. So I'm going to introduce a surface defect in the gauge theory. One of uh, one of a uh, way to achieve uh, achieves to that purpose is with a fixing so-called fixing condition on by fundamental mass and U2 cross U2 Coulomb moduli. Then, since we are considering this kind of quiver gauge theory, we have by fundamental matter between him, and we have two Coulomb moduli for each gauge group. And we put some, I, I don't write a, an explicit formula, but we put, uh, by putting some fixing condition or tuning condition of mass and Coulomb moduli, we can introduce a surface defect at, for say, W to zero. And so the, so the world state coordinate of the surface is Z. And the, uh, after introducing the surface defect, that it breaks the symmetry of Q and the T, T inverse, of course. Before, if we don't have a surface defect, it is symmetric since this is their toric action C2. But since uh, if we introduce surface defect, it breaks the symmetry between Z and W, and consequently get Q and uh, T. So in my story, the parameter Q and T plays a distinguished role, right? So. Oh, C, C2. Hmm? Coordinate of C2. Space time coordinate, space time coordinate, I'm sorry. So, so this, we, we call it standard toric action on Q and T inverse, okay, 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 okay. And then the surface effect sits on the zero 
of W. So it's, it's flat plane. Yeah, so there's a flat plane in C2. And then, according to ADT correspondence, the instant partition function, uh, since we are calling A2, Kiba gate, sorry, the instant partition function is a five point Vila Sorokan from Black on P2 with an insertion of the generate field phi to one. So, uh, so if we don't have surface vector, this disappears. This is standard four point conformal block corresponding to the theory with four, uh, four matter multiplets, hyper multiplets. And this insertion of degenerate field corresponds to the insertion of the surface effect on, uh, on conformal field theory, conformal field theory type. So, because, uh, please remember this X is a coordinate associated with the surface defect. And this lambda, that is, uh, instant expansion parameter on gauge side, theory side is, uh, some, some kind of cross ratio of four point on P2, uh, P1 on CFT side. And as I told you, in the four dimensional case, BPZ equation, we know from C, uh, two dimensional CFT, we have a BP, so-called BPZ equation for this five point correlation function coming from the uh, level two states fit, uh, of this degenerate field. And then it is regarded as a Schrodinger form of pan uh, 6, where this lambda instant action parameter plays the role of time variable. By Schrodinger form, I mean uh, this uh, necklace of partition function or this CFT conformal block is a wave function of pan Hamiltonian, right? Then, yeah, there is a proposal of five dimensional rift of AGT which says that, uh, that in five, for five-dimensional theory, the class partition function gives a, Q, a conformal block of Q Bilasol algebra. So a natural question is, what, what is a BPZ-like equation for the five-dimensional five lift of the class of function? Uh, one may try to obtain such an equation from the five-dimensional rift of QQ character problem proposed by Nekrasov. He proposed that regularity of QQ character implies BPZ equation or KZ equation for current block. So one may try to uh, uplift five, uh, uplift, make a uplift to five dimension by generalizing up, by generalizing QQ character of Nekrasov to five dimension. It is rather easy, I mean, but Technically, derivation of the regularity condition looked uh, very hard. I mean, a few years ago, I tried, but failed. So one, one, one might try to add this h bar. This time, h bar is a parameter which defines four-dimensional four dimensional limit. And then one may try to make a, a perturbation in h bar starting from five-dimensional rift of QQ character. But the, I mean, organizing the every uh, many term seems very hard to to give, give rise to a simple equation for this Q, uh, conformal block of cubular algebra. But recently, Shamil proposed a desired non-stationary difference equation by looking at five-dimensional necklace of partition function, which has an expansion like this. So, recall, so we have. Uh, two expansion parameter, lambda and x. Lambda is an instant expansion parameter, and x is associated with the surface defect. And physically, it counts monopole or vortex. That is a co-dimension two object in gauge theory. And then the coefficient CKL are the rational functions in the equivalent parameters or uh, torus action on space time. Large Q is a uh, exponentiation of the SU2 Coulomb parameter. Oh, uh, since we put uh, Higgs in condition, the remaining uh, Coulomb moduli parameter is only a single parameter. And then we exponentiate 
chromodulate parameter A to define Q. And T is a similarly uh, exponential mass parameter. So we have four mass parameters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two, two plus two. But since we are imposing Higgs in condition, so the remaining independent, independent Coulomb moduli is at only one. This gives rise to standard SU2 gauge theory. Yeah, with a defect. I mean, yes. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to, uh, as an example, I'm going to tell you, tell you a hypergeometric case. Maybe that, that's related to your question. No, no, you, you, you are saying four point function with single degenerate operator. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. So totally four point function. Yes, 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 I know. But, but, but that, I, uh, uh, that, that doesn't correspond to the situation we are considering. Uh, I, I want to consider the, the case with a surface defect. And eventually, I'd like to, uh, in, in the last, in the, End of my talk, I, I'm going to, I, I would want to discuss the relation to the QKZ equation, current block. Not only Q Biraso, but car, uh, Q, uh, uh, Q, uh, conformable for Q, uh, affine algebra, uh, quantum affine algebra. That is more general, I believe. Okay, maybe. Of, of course, uh, one can say, uh, the Q hypergeometric equation is one of the example of Q lift of BPZ equation. But I, I don't think that is enough. Not, not enough. We can, we can have more general, uh, difference equation. That is the, yeah, the Shamir proposed. And then, this is it. So Z necklace of is a five dimensional, uh, five dimensional necklace partition function. We have two expansion parameters, lambda and X. So there is a T shift of lambda. And here is another shift of in X. So as I, I emphasize, T and Q plays a distinct, distinct role. So T is here is a shift parameter. And okay, maybe Q is some quantization parameter. And here, B is a so-called Q Borel transformation on the former, uh, former Lorentz series in X. So I, I will show you the definition in the next slide. And A, car uh, calligraphic A are the multiplication of infinite product. So I for abbreviation, I write this infinite product, st standard for Hamma symbol by a uh, uh, phi, and this is a double infinite product I write in ca uh, chapter psi, uh, phi. And you see, this is less uh, complicated multiplication. Of, sorry, yeah? Oh, I, I just defined Q is an exponential of Coulomb moduli parameter, right? Right, and then, so, so, so T 
is a mass, uh, exponential mass parameters and maybe, and V is a combination stand like this. And I hope there's, I explained all the notation. And this is original form of the, uh, of the, yeah. No, no, that, that was, that was a, mira, a mystery for us. I mean, ju he just proposed. He just proposed that was, that was a very, and, and, and we can check. So for example, since we know the expressed form of negative passion function by expansion, one can check, for example, by using Mathematica. This is indeed true for lower order. And, and that is, Reason why we are very, we were very excited with such kind of equation. And we tried to, to, to clarify the implication or the meaning of this. Yeah. For example, yeah, this is very complicated. Very compl at first, very complicated. And, uh, and, and I also emphasize the appearance of Q Boreal trans Q Boreal transformation also very curious feature of his equation. This is just a first First, ah, yeah, as a difference equation of the first order, since this is. G and, and also there, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Both lambda and x, uh, the sum and proportion. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, so, uh, so, since we, uh, we, we are considering capital lambda as a time variable, for example, in the parallel setting, then this is a simple T shift. And this is expressed in terms of this rather complicated equation. What would you get from using four dimensional limit? Four dimensional limit. <laughs> four dimensional limit gives, I, I mean, I, I'm going to tell you this corresponds to Panlebe Hamiltonian, a uh, Q Panlebe Hamiltonian. And in the four dimensional limit, this gives rise to standard Panlebe four, uh, Panlebe six. Is it true that you should expect uh, the BZ equation? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I told you. So BPZ is regarded as a Schrodinger form of uh, sure. Panel B6. I mean, I, I think this is a familiar story. And yeah, of course, uh, we also checked this, the four dimensional limit of this Hamiltonian recovers BPZ or Panel B6. This is also one of the consistency check. But real surprise here is we can make a five-dimensional five uplift by this uh, in, uh, by using the so-called q borer. So let me explain what is q borer. So I'm sorry. So my my our ref basic reference is this uh, this one, and q borer transformation appeared in the so-called. Uh, Q Borel transformation appeared in the discussion of uh, the quantum invariant three dimensional manifold. But here, the Q, uh, this Q Borel transformation plays a rather different role. So let's theta x, uh, the Euler oper operator in x, and then the Q shift operator is this, and Q, P and Q is Q commute. So this is basic uh, dynamical variable, a quantum dynamical variable. X and P, and then the cube transformation is defined by this. Namely, the action on the, this is a formal power, a Lorentz series, and the action of the cube transformation is explicitly defined by this. And of course, this is rather simple, computation relation of P and X. Ah, sorry, simple computation relation is of border transformation and dynamical variables. So as I told you, it was very hard, at least for me, to get such a non-stationary difference equation from the knowledge of BPZ or Panrube equation. So there is a kind of miracle with this transformation. So this is one of a basic example 
So, high net Q hypergeometric series, this is stationary, correspond to stationary case. So, in the limit, where lambda goes to zero, so the partition function, or necrotic partition function, degenerate to Q hypergeometric series, that is a physically vortex counting function, since this instanton disappears, only vortex remains. So, in this limit, the non-stationary shift becomes trivial, since we are going, we put lambda goes to zero. And Shakirov's equation reduced to this. So this rather complicated Hamiltonian reduces to this. I mean, all the lambda disappears. There are many lambdas here, but all the lambda disappears. And then that this is Hamiltonian simplifies. And then this hypergeometric series is a solution to his equation, this reduced equation. And maybe this is related to the point. I mean, we already know the hypergeometric satisfies this kind of difference equation. That is second order. This is our, this is a, a kind of defining relation for a defining equation for this hypergeometric series, right? And quite surprisingly, this operator S commutes with this second order difference equation. So this is a compatible system, right? So we know already, so we already know this, but the finding this S which commute with this uh, highness difference equation is a very hard problem, I guess. And then by an appropriate gauge transformation, we can eliminate this complicated factor and identify Shackle's equation with a curing of form of discrete, discrete panel number six equation. Uh, first, they are introduced by Jim Matsakai. And then we can slightly simplify his equation, his Hamiltonian, like this. And in the necklace of Shuttleship limit, so again, this part becomes trivial and the system becomes, uh, that, that system becomes autonomous. And then five band general quantum Zyban Witten car is identified as a conserved quantity of this autonomous system. But if we turn on this, the second uh, omega background, this, this system becomes non-autonomous and the dynamics becomes very, very interesting and complicated. I uh, maybe why to skip here. But uh, there's another discussion of instant counting with a surface effect based on the so-called affine Lomon space. That is a, a modular space of frame torsion free shift on P1 times P1 and with a parabolic structure on P1 times zero. So physically, this parabolic structure corresponds to other surface defect. And in the four dimensional case, the partition function of affine, this affine normal space gives a conformal block of SU2 current algebra. That is the point I told you before. So his equation should be natural, should naturally regarded as not only BPD, but KZ, K, uh, K, KZ equation. So, and since we are considering five dimensional, five dimensional rift, it is very natural to, re, uh, to relate his equation to the quantum KZ equation for the quantum affine algebra. And I will show you this is indeed, indeed the case. And I, I like to emphasize this point. So the deformed Birasa algebra, Q Birasa algebra, is not an only associative algebra. And not a bi algebra or not a quantum group, since we don't have any coproduct. The advantage of approach based, based on the affine Lomon space is that this quantum affine algebra is a quantum group. So, so we can use 
a very strong representation theory like intertwiners, R matrix, and so on. Okay, this is some technical part. I, I hope many of you are familiar with the Nicolas factor or Nicolas Nicolas partition function. And to uh, to obtain the Nicolas partition function with a surface check, we factorize or we use some uh, OB holding trick. That is, we factorize the total Nicolas factor. So this is a combinatorial dominatorial expression, and uh, this is a finite combinatorial expression. And we can uh, rewrite this equation as a ratio of Q, Q Pohohama symbol. And then we factorize this total network factor to even part and odd part according to the power of, um, oh, I'm sorry, I rewrite for some reason, uh, I rewrite T, T parameter as kappa. And then according to the power of this kappa, we factorize the total network factor to and zero, even part and odd part, and express definition is like this. And you see that here is a power of kappa is minus i plus j, and we impose this condition, this j minus i, that this power is k mod 2. So, so we can factorize, so total net factor in this way. And then, we can use, I mean, maybe you are familiar with this, uh, the story without surface effect, but we can use a similar trick of equivalent localization to compute the instant partition function. What we need is a equivalent, uh, character evaluated at a fixed point of the, a fixed point of torus action, which is labeled by a pair of Young diagrams. This is the same, almost the same story. We can introduce toric action on the affine Roman space. And then we can find that fixed point of the toric action are leveled by a pair of Young diagrams. And then we can compute equivalent character. And then from that data, we can compute the negative partition function. But since we are using Z2 or beholding trick, the Young diagram is, I mean, the color with D2, I mean, something like this. The fixed points are labeled by a pair of two Young diagrams, and we made a D2 coloring along horizontal direction. And the coloring is different for the first Young diagram and second Young diagram. And we define uh, this is odd and even, so this, uh, this is the total sum of the boxes in, on the, uh, I'm sorry, this is low, low, uh, even, odd, odd lows, and this is a sum of the total uh, boxes in, in the even lows. And then I defined this expansion parameter x1 and x2, and this number counts, say this is one or even, so this our shares. This factor counts the number of white boxes, and in this example, this is just seven, and the second number just counts the number of orange boxes. In this case, this is just six. So, as I told you, so instant partial function has a dub, is a double expansion parameter in x and lambda. And to get such kind of double expansion, we made a d2 coloring of the Young diagrams. So, this is a conjecture I, we proposed uh, roughly a half a year ago. I'm sorry, this is very, rather very complicated. This, I'm sorry. This is a partition function for, uh, from the affine Roman space, and we make some specializations. So from this expression, you may recognize 
u and w appears in the, denom uh, in the numerator. So these parameters correspond to roughly mass parameters. And v appears, and the ratio of v appears in the denominator. So this parameter corresponds to roughly uh, Coulomb moduli parameter. And q and this kappa is omega background parameter. Then by and error base, we find that this specialization say the first line is a two of mass parameters, and the second line is a cool, basically Coulomb moduli, and the th a third line is the remaining mass parameters, and just specialized like this. And we have two expansion parameters, x1 and x2. I, we substitute basically first uh, expansion parameter is x, and the second expansion parameter is lambda of x. And this is the reason why I replaced the original t to kappa. We substitute this square root of t due to the d2 overholding procedure. Yeah, of course, of course, we, we checked by mathematical whole or all that. And we, this is the conjecture. Uh, this, this is the conjecture. And then I'm going to, to, to tell you, I will start you to prove that this conjecture in other, maybe in the remaining 25 minutes, I'm going to tell you the strategy. I, 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 I say this is, uh, I propose, uh, we propose this conjecture in, uh, half a year ago. And after that, we try to prove it. And then idea is to, I mean, to clarify the relation of Shamir's equation to QKZ equation. This is the idea. But, uh, at the moment, we can show, uh, we, we have proved this conjecture only some restrict, restrict case, but infinitely many. Okay, so far. So, I hope you now understand Shamir's equation is very interesting and very important. And this Necrotic partition function with self defect solves his equation. Uh, of course, this is a conjecture. So, and, yeah. Uh, I, 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 maybe. I should be right. So, uh, our trick is Z2 OB folding. So, this Z2 acts only on this second variable. Ah, uh, it is maybe data. So uh, I, I didn't I, I didn't ex explain how this D2 acts on space-time coordinate, but uh, actually this D2 acts only on the second, and because so this is a uh, equivalent parameter for the first is Q, and the equivalent parameter originally this is P inverse, and since we are considering this action on the second variable, this is the reason why we put the square root of T. T goes to zero is our autonomous. NS limit. Yeah, and, and it's, it's the autonomous limit. So it's no, autonomous, autonomous limit is T goes to zero. Well, what would be the classical limit, classical non-autonomous? Classical, so, classical so mean, class, ah, uh, classical is, ah, uh, yeah, we have constant quantized, quantized yeah. upon the V. So what, what would be the limit in which it's Classical. <laughs> oh, that goes to Q goes to zero. Or Q goes to one limit. As I have said, so we have two parameters, uh, Q and T. And I believe Q goes to one is classical. A classical Q parameter takes. 
Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah, yeah. So, for, from the viewpoint of Q panel bay, the first omega background plays a, plays a role of quantization parameter, and second defines the time scale of non autonomous system. Right? Okay. So, for uh, the first step to the proof of our conjecture, I will show you the relation of Shamin's equation to the QZ, Q, KZ equation for the quantum affine algebra only on the restricted case. Uh, so this is also another technical part. We made also uh, another gauge transform. So in the previously, we, we made some gauge transformation to make, uh, to relate Shamin's Hamiltonian to the Hamiltonian of discrete panel level, Q panel level 6. And we made another gauge transformation to see the relation of QKZ. So original, uh, original Q, so that means, uh, discrete panel level 6 is related to QKZ by some gauge transformation. We combine, if we make a two, uh, combine two gauge transformation, which makes uh, discrete Q panel back to QKZ. So this is another gate, other result of another gate transformation. And then we find this is a gate, this is gauge equivalent to the original, uh, Shamir's Hamiltonian. So in, we just put in this way. Uh, this is rather taking part after the, we made some, uh, change of pa parameters. So, Remember that now d, small d, is a phrase the role of mass parameters. So this is technical. Okay. And that one of the beauty of this, uh, this Hamiltonian is this is manifestly symmetric under the exchange of d1 and d2 and d3 and d4. This, this corresponds to maybe fundamental part and this is correspond to by fundamental part. So here is some restriction. Let us truncate the equation by tuning mass parameters. There are several choices, I, I think. But today, I will take two mass parameter tunings. D2 is q to the power minus m, and D3 is q to the power minus m. So this m is not a mass parameter, just, just a positive. Uh, non-negative integer. Then the nice point of this specialization. <laughs> so originally, I mean, this is original uh, mass parameter used by Shamir, but we. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course, or, in, in terms of original parameter t, we tune the mass parameter to the power, some power of q and t, and also maybe Coulomb moduli. I, I, I think maybe this story is also familiar in the necklace partition function. We can make some truncation by tuning mass parameters. Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean by, by tune, by tune, about tuning such a mass, a mass parameter tuning, the Q pop hammer reduced to Q shifted factorial. That is one good point. And also, I mean, originally the Hamiltonian acts on low run series in X. But after this truncation or tuning, this Hamiltonian acts consistently on the finite dimensional space of Laurent polynomials. That is a nice point, at least mathematically. And then more explicitly, by tuning this, by <laughs> the condition here, that we can make a tr uh, truncation of uh, the power of x from minus n to plus m. 
so we can reduce the problem to the finite, finite dimensional space of, I say, n plus one, oh, see, here, here's n plus one plus one consistently. And this is our proposition, our proposition. So may hope, hopefully it appears in the humans. So we define the matrix here. So since this Hamiltonian acts on the space of polynomials, we can define, say, let us say this n plus one is capital N. So this is capital N plus one times capital N plus one matrix. And then we find this matrix coincides with the R matrix as a some finite dimensional block of the R matrix for the quantum affine algebra A1. One. And then we have lambda parameter here, and there remains two mass parameters, two mass parameters. And this, these two mass parameters defines the highest weight of the ins and out. And lambda plays the role of spectral parameter in the error matrix. So since this, this mass parameter is, I mean, generic, this is a error matrix for the generic mass parameter. Usually, maybe the familiar R matrix is defined only on the maybe integer spin or integer highest weight or integral, integral highest weight system. But here, this remaining two parameters are generic, uh, continuous. So this R matrix defines, uh, this matrix defines the R matrix for generic spins. How we can see this, and this is some basic, a basic uh, relation already appeared in the original paper. So there are, the, this is some commutation relation, q bar transformation and multiplication of q for hammer symbol. And using such a commutation relation, one can check the relation satisfied by this matrix element is essentially the same as the equation for the quantum 6J symbol for Quantum, uh, quantum, the quantum affine algebra. So we import, we reduce the prob, uh, prob, uh, problem uh, by tuning mass parameter. Thus, his, uh, Shamil's equation, uh, equivalent, uh, maybe essentially the equivalent to the QKZ equation for quantum, uh, uh, SU2 quantum affine algebra. So this is one. Very interesting point. And then maybe we have, I have 10 minutes. So my, our conjecture is that Necklace partition function coming from the affine level space solves Shamil's equation. That means it solves, it is a solution to the uh, Q, uh, KZ equation for the quantum affine, I see SU2 quantum affine. And this is, uh, uh, in a sense, this is very old story. Uh, the a solution, uh, one of the way to construct a solution to the KZ equation, to KZ equation, is in terms of so-called the Jackson integral. And the, the Jackson integral is defined like this. So it is a, it has a, some integration variable z. Z1 to Z capital N and defined by the sum over the integers uh, times two N. Uh, so in the conformal field theory, this integral variable corresponds to the coordinate of the so-called screening operators. And then this is standard Jackson integral and we can we can regard this Jackson integral as a pairing of zeta. This is a co uh, defines integration cycle, and this phi z corresponds to the cocycle function. And then, yeah, this Matsuo 
constructed a basis of the space of cohomology classes defined by this equation. It is, of course, this is again a, some technical, uh, technical issue, uh, part, but the important point, there's a formula for the solution to the QKZ equation or, or the explicit basis. We have an explicit basis for the, so, the solution space to the Q, QKZ equation if we have finite dimensional problem. So this I is from zero to capital N. So this spans N plus one dimensional space. So to prove our conjecture, at, at least in the, this, this respect case, we have to show how the instant partition function is related to the, this so Matsuo basis. Uh, for that purpose, we can we really take some appropriate choice of integration cycle, which is brought, which such that uh, to repro uh, we can reproduce the summation of uh, the data of uh, young pair of young diagrams. We can take some appropriate choice of the integration cycle. And then this is again maybe familiar to most of you by imposing mass parameter tuning condition, we can truncate Young diagrams with finite, in this case, with finite column. I mean, with this condition, the first Young diagram has at most M columns and the second at most N columns. I mean, otherwise, if we have more columns that appears at zero in the contribution from the fixed point here. So in this case, we can introduce the coordinate of, ah, uh, since the, we have finite number of columns, we consider the transpose of Young diagram and labels L1 to L, this L1 to Lm is the length of each column. And uh, for the second young lines, we make something like this. And then we define integration variables by, for the far, uh, by Z, N, and W, J. And for the first, uh, this is for the first uh, young diagram, and the fourth, this is for the second. And here appears a uh, flow function. And usually, this is just a number of, say, the number of boxes of Young diagram. But here, since we are considering Z to O beholding of Young diagrams, this number counts this kind of dominoes. So, so this counts the pair of white and orange boxes. So this is also some technical part to introduce the integration variable to, to relate Nicolas partition function to the Jackson integral. And then with this, this variable Z and W, we can recast contribution from a fixed point labeled by this pair of Young diagrams as follows. So this is some we make some uh, combinatorial com uh, argument or com uh, computation to reduce the necros potential function to this form. So here appears, uh, again, uh, this is some also comes from some combinatorics. This parenthesis Li denotes this parity of the length of the Young diagrams. I mean, this is zero if the length of column is even, and it is odd if the length is odd. And this is also something in the plot. Okay. 
So what we did is, I mean, I in introduced this, this, this coordinate, which is natural from the viewpoint of Z2, Z2 coloring of the Young diagrams, and we can the original partition function in this form. The important point here is appearance of the, the such kind of Z2 parity part. So it is very natural to decompose the index set as follows. So we have, so in total, we have n, capital N variables, and we decompose these indices into i and j, and i correspond to the, the column, which has even length, and capital J corresponds to the column, uh, labels the column with odd lengths. And then this defines, uh, so here is some selection rule, according to the zero and one here and here. We can factorize this total expression in this form. For example, the last factor, this, this part, survives only this Li is, say, zero, and Lj is even. So I should come, should come from this part, and J should come from this index. So we can factorize in this way. And this, this part are, is a contribution from the Young diagram with, where, with all the columns are even. Okay. So this is some combinatorial. We can factorize this total negative factor. And this exactly corresponds to the for, formula of Matsuo basis, like I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't explain. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's a, some common factor, la, capital Psi. And Matsuo basis is a basis for this cocycle function. I'm sorry. I didn't explain this part. The Jackson integral is a pairing of this cocycle function and integration cycle. And we choose this integration, integration cycle appropriately to reduce this sum to the sum over, uh, Young Dyer, uh, the coordinate of Young Dyer. And then here, this common factor corresponds to this part, which comes from the Young Dyer, Young diagram of where it's the all the current has even length. And according to the number of uh, columns of odd, uh, columns of odd lengths, we can, we have some additional factor here. And this exactly corresponds to this factor. And of course, we can, uh, we can, sub ha we ha should have some dictionary of this parameter. This is original parameter in Matsuo basis, and we have, say, this is gauge theory parameter, and this we identify as B, B A, or B in the original formula of Matsuo basis. Okay, so in this way, uh, yeah, here, we can make some dictionary between the parameter of the Jackson integral size and the parameter of gauge, uh, gauge theory size. So, ah, this is what I told you. So this corresponds to the common factor on the Jackson integral part, and the remaining part just corresponds to the Matthew basis. So in this way, in this some restricted case, we can show that the partition function uh, is uh, some special linear combination of the Matthew basis. This is a special specialization of the 
for the mass. Well, for the mass, yes. Okay. Of course, um, oh, this is only, I mean, since this, uh, the space, uh, the solution space is finite, finite dimensional, capital N plus one, this is only when, when we put, input the mass parameter specialization. So that is what, what I told you. So we just, in this way, we just proved our conjecture in the, some restricted case. But since small n and n is arbitrary, this is infinitely many. So, in summary, so the non-stationary difference equation proposed by Shamil is a quantized version, or shading a form, of the discrete part of the six equation. And with the tuning of the mass parameters, yeah, this, this, we can show that is nothing but the quantum uh, QKZ equation for the quantum affine algebra of UQ A1, that is SU2 quantum affine algebra. So, in a sense, Shackleton's equation is a mother equation for all the quantum KZ equation. I mean, if we impose this specialization that produces finite dimensional QKZ. So, in that sense, this Shackleton's equation is contains all the data of quantum KZ equations. And by recasting the cross partition function coming from the affine Roman space, that defines, uh, that gives, uh, in terms of partition function of the gauge theory with the surface effect, interjection integral. And again, under this condition, we can show that it solves the Shackleton's equation. So we think that this so mm, yes about generic spin, so that you specify mass parameter check so this is the z uh, equation for current block uh, uh, but the, there, are, there are two 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 free mass parameters right mm -hmm. d1 and d4 mm -hmm. and that defines generic spin for in state and out state in state and out state yeah but uh, can you keep qt is the equation for how many points Ah, oh, four point. I'm sorry, four point function. Four point, four point function. So two fields are. So, so two 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 in, in intermediate states are restricted by uh, this. Uh, this by uh, under uh, under uh, in state uh, out state uh, are arbitrary. Uh, I mean, usual situation is in and both in and out is also related to some integrable highest weight. But here that is not that uh, arbitrary, not integrable, not necessarily integrable. And or and this if we, we didn't impose this condition, all all the highest is it exactly similar to what Nikras explained about four dimension equation, but also T Z with uh, some uh, complex circuits. Uh -huh. This is a hard statement. So in a sense, this is a five dimensional rift of the statement that instant partition function is a defect, is a conformal block of the current algebra. And as you emphasize, this current algebra is for generic spin, not necessarily integral highest weight spin, highest weight spin. So I, I, we or at least we think this statement is a five-dimensional lift of so-called uh, the the AGT, AGT or AGT relation for the current block. Okay, let me stop here. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes, 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 exactly, yes. It's the it's same, the same. I mean, the Coulomb moduli parameter only appears in the Schrodinger form of panel number six. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you mean, say, in the be very beginning, I, I mean. Mm -hmm. 
or maybe, maybe. Uh, this is original, original form, but what we identified with panel number six is this. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, it's, it's still, but No, no, but, but this is some artifact. I mean, we can eliminate Q by, by making some change of variable or change of dynamic variable. I, I believe, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, So, I mean, yeah, yeah, and that, that, I, I mean, that, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, here appears our explicit parameter Q, but somehow we can eliminate. Let's look at the previous equation where it appears only in the shift of X, right? It's just a Yeah. 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 Q appears many places. And actually, actually, Q appears many places. But but can you remove it by rescaling the text? Rescaling or some yeah the, the definition of x. Can we we can eliminate. Can we totally remove it or, or from 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 the equation we can eliminate, but from the solution we cannot. Oh, all the solution, I don't know. <laughs> all the solution, I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, but, but at, at least the necklace of partition function involves, us, of course, this parameter Q and it's, it's a solution to the, but, uh, discrete parameter, yeah. Okay, if you consider that for this, Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Since this is linear difference, finite difference equation, that's the, I, I believe the space of solution is quite huge. Yes. Quite huge. And this is only a, a part of the solution. And an interesting question is we should import, a further import some condition to characterize actually, really, this negative partition function. We need some additional condition, I, I think. What kind of condition? Oh, I, 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 or I, we don't know. But we, we, we actually, we notice that, I mean, I, I told you, so necklace of partition function can be expanded in much of basis. And coefficient is, so we need n plus one coefficient. But that is fixed in the case of necklace of partition function. I mean, Usually, the, we, we can free parameters as a solution of linear difference equation. But for necklace of partition function, that parameter is fixed. So that cannot be defi uh, determined by QZ, QKZ or QPAN, uh, QPAN Ruby. So we need some more data to uniquely characterize instant partition function. But that condition, we don't know at, at the moment. I'm sorry, I don't, I, I don't have any. 
definite answer to your question at the moment. <laughs> okay, okay, so maybe yeah, I will look at our, our paper <laughs> once again. Maybe I can I can say more about it, but but at the moment, yeah. Yeah, yes. A toric geometry. I mean, you want to generalize this equation to other cases. I mean, more um, at the moment, I, I don't know. But in, in this case, this is a very fundamental case. I mean, yeah. as, as you to gauge theory with four, fund, uh, four fundamental fighter multiple. And we know that, cor uh, that correspond to, uh, at least in the four dimensional case, that correspond to panel number six. And also, uh, in the current algebra case, this is, uh, this is the solution to KZ. And now we understand his equation is naturally identified as quantized of number six and QKZ. And so this removes some of the mystery of his equation. But for, for generalization, at the moment, I don't know, or we don't know how to generalize the equation to other theory. To, to, to yeah, this? Of this uh, no, actually, no, at the moment, no. Okay. That, that, that might be a very interesting yeah, question. Yeah, this is linear. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's the point, I mean. And ah, also, I, I, I direct to emphasize. Today, I didn't say about any duality, but there is some dual QKZ equation. Mm -hmm. And maybe that duality plays a role for fixing Necker's partition function. Maybe blow up is also another equation for fixing that. I mean, this is only, since, yeah, this is very weak, I mean, in a sense, for, uh, finite different, linear finite different equation. So this is a very, in a sense, very weak. So we need more condition. For example, duality blow up equation to fix or to uniquely fix negative partition function. Yeah, that is a very, very interesting problem. For the limit of this equation, yeah, we checked it. And we, 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 yeah, we presented it in our paper. So please look at our paper. For, I mean, in, in the panel, for the case of panel six, yeah, we explicitly checked it has a consistent for, uh, for the limit. Thank you.